What is up all you metalheads? Happy Friday. It is Terry back here with you for another review. And first off, I just want to say happy Friday. Just got to get through one more work day, then it's the weekend. I'm ready for it. I'm going to see Monster Jam this weekend. Very stoked about it. And it's just been just like a long week. And it's I, it's like, when, like once Friday gets here, it's like, fuck, I'm ready for the weekend. So I hope all you guys are going to have a great Friday. And I hope that you guys all have a great weekend. So cheers. Here's to you guys. To the weekend. Also, uh, earlier I got some more good concert news. July 18th, Slaughter is going to be here in St. Louis, and <clears throat> I've never got to see Slaughter, and I'm looking really forward to it. It's just, I don't know, I, I'm just so excited that live music is finally getting its big comeback, and you know, I, I just can't wait to get back to shows and. Slaughter, it's going to be a good show. Never got to see him. Been a big fan, so I'm looking forward to seeing Slaughter. I'll probably uh, do some videos and hopefully maybe try to, um, if I get lucky enough, maybe interview one of the guys from the band. But hopefully, time will tell. That's still July. We've still got a while to go. But anyway, on this video, I wanted to uh, talk about <clears throat> an album that came out June 13th, 1985, called... Invasion of Your Privacy by Wrapped. Let me show you guys the vinyl there. Just the back of it. Ah, yes, Wrapped. One of my second favorite, you know, bands from that time period from the 80s. You know, people call it hair metal. Some people just call it crap. Some people hate it. I call it rock and roll. You know, Motley Crue, Rat, Skid Row, Dockin'. Those are some of my top favorites. You know, I, I love L.A. Guns too, Faster Pussycat. There's just I, there's just so many uh, of them bands that I still listen to and I love. And you know, I'm, I'm really glad I was able to get you know some of these old vinyls, find some, and get some from my dad from what he had them. But this is my second favorite Rat album. Out of the Cellar is my top favorite one because it opens with one of my favorite Rat songs, Wanted Man. And it's got Round and Round on it lack of communication but this one's my second favorite because another one of my favorite uh, rap songs is lay it down and that's on here and you're in love is on here too and boy oh boy like that if this original vinyl it, it sounds really really good too and um you know rat you know they came up you know after motley crew you know started getting big you know that's when like poison and you know these guys came up and I've, I've only seen Rat uh, twice. I saw them back when they did their Back For More tour with Poison back in 07. Then I recently saw them back in 2018 at the KC95 Pig Roast. And when I saw them at the KC Pig Roast, hey, they sounded good. But Stephen Piercy was the only original member that was up on stage with them that night. And I'm just, I'm not a fan of when bands do that. It's like with the Quiet Riot thing, you know. Unfortunately, after Frankie passed away, you know, the other guys decided, you know, Frankie like wanted us to keep it going. So there's, it's just like, it's like kind of like a, they're doing like a, it, to me, it's like a tribute thing. All the original members are gone. You know, it's, and it's, it's like the whole Van Halen thing after Eddie passed, you know, everyone was like, hey, Wolf, like, have Wolfgang, you know, jump on the guitar and do it. And like Wolf's like, no, 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 Eddie, no Van Halen. And I respect the hell out of him for that. And I totally agree with him. You know, it's like the whole Pantera thing, you know, Zach Wilde stepped in to play guitar, you know, for Dime, but then, you know, unfortunately, Vinnie Paul passed. You know, no Dime, no Pantera. That's just how I am. But when I saw Rat from that time, like, they were, hey, they played all the hits that I wanted to hear. They sounded good. Stephen Pierce, he sounded good. And, um, but it's just... I didn't know who any of these other guys were up on stage except for Stephen Pierce. And I was just kind of like, wow, like... Why can't you guys just get along and just get Warner D. Martini and Robin back up there, Carlos on the guitar? And um, but you know, recently I've been hearing that Stephen Piercy wants to do a reunion tour with the original lineup, and I hope that happens. I hope they just put all this stuff behind them, you know, just get back because we need more rock and roll in this world. And you know, these days, you know. I feel bad for the kids because they do not get the rock and roll that I grew up on. You know, I am so lucky and blessed. Like, I got to grow up with, like, you know, hearing my dad play this album 
and Out of the Cellar, Guns N' Roses, Motley Crue. And it's just like we, like for me personally, I just I just wish Rat would just put all this nonsense behind him. I know like Warren and Bobby, the drummer, like they were in, they were in court, you know, battling over stupid shit. And it's like, you know what, you guys, can't you just put the stuff aside and just let's play this, let's just get together and give the fans what they want. And um, it's kind of like, you know, I know a lot of people are pissed off about the whole Motley Crue thing because Motley Crue broke up after stating they were going to sign a contract never to tour again. But after the success of The Dirt, you know, they were saying that it opened up a new whole generation of Crue fans. And needless to say, like, I I was just happy. The final tour that I saw Motley sucked, and I've seen them on way, I've seen Motley Crue numerous times, and their final tour back when I saw them was like the least favorite one. But anyway, like with Rat, they just need to put this bullshit behind them, come out, and just do a, a, a big, massive tour. Or even get like a whole bunch of big bands. Kind of like how Motley's doing their reunion. Just do like a big tour, get like a lot of the hair bands, and just get out there and rock and roll. Because Rat, man, like they kick ass. Like Warren D. Martini, he is just, to me, he's a very underrated guitar player. And he is badass. When I did see him in 2007, I remember like, kind of like being in front of the stage and like Warren was just like ripping it up and like there was moments like he was playing shit so fast like I was like wow like you know he was just tearing it up and I can't the other guys when I saw him in 18 were good but they didn't come nowhere close to what Warren was when I saw him on the back from War tour so you know what you, you know maybe fingers crossed you know for all for you know for me for all you guys that are you know, old school rock and rollers that love this kind of music, you know, love rat. Maybe hopefully we'll get that news one day, Satan. They're going to come back and they're going to do a reunion tour. And we get the rat that we love and we know, not the rat that Steven Pierce has got going on now. But this, this album, though, I do love the song, Lay It Down. And it sounds really good on it, especially if you got like one of the original vinyls. I'm not sure if this ever had like a re release or not, but. This was one of my dad's, uh, you know, personally, you know, he, <clears throat> he kind of gave me his vinyl records, you know, as I started getting into music heavy, and this is one of the original ones, and it, it sounds really good, too, and um, You're in Love, that, that that's that's another good one, too, but this one's got, this one's probably got about three songs I like on it, as to where Out of the Cellar's got more songs on it that I like, but anyway, still, like, this is my second favorite Rat album, and if I would give it a 7 out of 10, a, a solid 7 out of 10. You know, of course, for me, when it comes to rap, it's always going to be out of the cellar. That's probably like a lot of people's, you know, favorite ones. But, you know, this is still an invasion of your uh, privacy. This is still a good kick-ass rock and roll album. And, it, man, it just, it, vinyl sounds so much better. And I'm, I'm so glad that vinyl's getting to come back, too, because I absolutely I love it. And this is an original one, too. This was what my dad had probably before I was even born. But anyway, though, um, what's your guys' thoughts on the uh, Invasion of Privacy album? What's your guys' favorite song on it? What's your guys' favorite Rat album? I mean, do you guys hope to see Rat do a reunion, kind of like what Motley Crue's doing? Let me know in the comments below, you know. And also, if you like these old-school classic rock vinyl reviews and horror movie reviews, Click that like and subscribe button. More good things are coming. And when I hit that 50 subscribers mark, I'm going to be doing a free giveaway. It's either going to be a NECA horror figure, a band t-shirt, or an assigned 8x10. Or you know what? If I if I get the chance you know, to meet Slaughter, I might get a couple 8x10 signed by the whole band to send out to someone. But anyway, as always, thank you guys so much for taking time out of your schedule to stop by and watch. I very much appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a safe Friday. And I hope you guys have a safe weekend. My next vinyl review is going to be Iron Maiden Days of the Dead, the newest three disc Iron Maiden vinyl, and it kicks ass. It's going, to, it's going to be a good review. But as always, you guys stay safe. Thank you guys for watching. Till the next time.